Madam Web. I was debating so hard whether to do a review or not or just skip past this one and hope no one asked for it, but it's time I shed some light on this film. So Madam Web is the latest project in Sony's Spider-Verse film thingies that they're doing still, apparently. Why? Uh, this one is directed by SJ Clarkson. Really has not done much, so what else do you expect? <sighs> but let's do it. So the plot of Madam Web follows Cassandra Webb, a paramedic of New York City set in 2003, who realizes she has powers in which she can see the future. Ooh, scary. She eventually sees the future that these three girls on the train were about to get killed by the villain and uh, decides to do something about it. She eventually becomes this mother-like figure to the girls after saying no a couple times, like, yeah, get out of here. We'll drop you off your parents. But eventually she's like, well, I've got to do it. I'm the only one that can see the future. I'm going to protect these women. So guess what? She does. Eventually she leaves them with uh, Ben Parker, who is... Uncle Ben, as you all may know who Ben Parker is, like, yeah, and uh, she goes to Peru, in which the place where her mother dies, to get some answers on why she has these powers, eventually meeting some spider people, I'm pretty sure they did have a special tribe name, but whether I missed that in the movie or not, that's another story, and uh, eventually she gets some wisdom on why she has these powers, um, with the great and powerful quote, you know, with great power comes great responsibility. Never mind, my bad. The new quote that they have for this universe is, with responsibility, great power will come. What? After that, she goes back home and she's able to control her power a little bit more in which she sees that the villain, Ezekiel, whatever his name is, yeah, Ezekiel, which we actually never get told the villain's name whatsoever. It's just, you, you got to just know it. And um, she realizes that he's about to get them. So guess what? She comes, saves the day. Loki, when I was watching this film, I thought, this is like Fast and the Furious, like 11, because the cars were actually what saved the day. I'm pretty sure twice. Yeah. The villain got hit twice with cars. It's crazy, honestly, if you ask me. Eventually, she uh, splits her personality, um, saving the girls, giving them a bit of inside, and the villain gets crushed by a letter S. That's, I'm not even joking, that's the plot of Madame Web. Don't expect to see no... No spider women going, nah, nothing like that, guys. The trailers just showed us the future stuff that Ezekiel was seeing, as well as what um, uh, Cassandra was seeing. But, yeah, I'm not going to lie, this film is a disappointment. So, the acting in this film is probably the only thing that, I guess, saved it. There were some solid actors in here. For starters, I do not like Dakota Johnson. I think she's a little bit annoying, but... She kind of carried this film a little bit, playing um, Cassandra Webb slash Madam Webb. Um, she did good. You know, nothing out of the ordinary, but she did good. We also have my sexy baby. Come here. We have Sydney Sweetie, who played Julia Carpenter. Um, her character, I really liked her. I thought she was cute. I mean, good. Yeah, she was very good. Isabella Merced as Anya Cozone, who plays the illegal immigrant, I guess you could say. Um, and the whole reason they don't go to the cops is because, you know, if she goes to the cops, she'll get deported. Um, yeah, right. We have Celeste O'Connor, who plays Maddie Franklin, another one of the spider women in The Vision. And then we get, like, you know, sprinkled in there, we have uh, Emma Roberts, who plays Mary Parker, which I thought was cool. Easter egg that uh, she was pregnant with a uh, good old little Peter. They never actually said Peter whatsoever once they got close to it. But then uh, guess what? Little Madame Webb had a little vision, and uh, we get back to the to the present. Anyway, it's a whole mess that film. And then we have uh, Adam Scott as Ben Parker, who actually had a lot of a lot more screen time than what I thought. Um, he played a pretty pretty big role in this film, so I, I like Adam Scott. He's a very good actor, so that was cool to have him in there. And then we had Tahara Rahim, who played Ezekiel, our villain of the film. Um, he was all right. Nothing out of the ordinary. He he honestly was just like an evil Spider-Man that didn't know how to swing. And then got crushed by a big sign. The pacing of this film, though, it wasn't too bad. Like, it it was very messy, though. It was a very messy film. But in terms of, like, pacing, I guess it wasn't too bad. Um, I've seen worse. I should say I have seen worse in terms of pacing. But it, it didn't feel so bad boring i guess to an extent it was just a mess of a film like the, the start of it was a bit yeah right and then like the second act was 
I guess a little bit better. Um, when the three girls kind of came in, they gave it a bit more fullness to the film, and I guess that's helped the pacing a bit. And then the last act was just a mess. Like, but yeah, no, the pacing. I'll let that pacing slide. All right, it's, it's okay. But all in all, Madam Web, absolute failure of a film. Everyone is people are calling it the worst comic book film. I wouldn't go that far. It it comes close, it definitely comes close, but I wouldn't call it the worst, um, the worst comic book film ever. And honestly, what it lacked was Spider Women. Honestly, it teeters us so much in the trailers that we were getting, you know, all three of these girls in their outfits and stuff. But we didn't get any of that until like the very last, until like. But we didn't really get any of that. It was sprinkled around in like the future stuff. And then, not to mention, there wasn't even a post credit scene. But at the very end of the film, we see like Cassandra Webb with her iconic suit. And we see the other girls in the spider spider outfits, which is cool. But then it just ends like that. Like, wow, like way to blue ball me right there. But for Madam Web, I'm just going to give this one a three, three out of ten, you know. Got to be a little bit generous here and there. Um, hopefully, Sony learns from their mistakes. They've had several chances now, let's be real. Um, that's all. That's all. I do not recommend going to waste your money to watch this film. Wait for it to come out. Or better yet, just don't watch it. You're not missing out on much. Um, yeah, that was Madam Webb.